Hi there folks, this is your friendly variety streamer Spariza here with a quick tutorial for the live sim game My Time at Porsche. It's about one of my all time favorite activities in the game, you guessed it, fishing. What are the requirements you need to do fishing in the game? Number one, you'll need a fishing rod. At the beginning of the game you'll only have access to the beginner fishing rod as a work table level 1 recipe. As you progress through the game, you can also unlock the classic fishing rod, which is a work table level 2 recipe, and the master fishing rod, which you get as a reward from the museum for donating one of each emperor fish. The second thing you will need is lure, which is typically caterpillars, which you can find in bushes and small plants uh, near your workshop and heading east. Or you can buy it in bulk from a Sophie's Farm store, which is due west from your workshop. And the third and last thing you will need is a fishing spot on the map. Unlike some other games, in Porsche you can only fish at designated fishing spots that you can find on your maps as the purple fishing icon. So you got a rod, lure and a fishing spot. How does the fishing mini game actually work? As you approach the fishing spot, you will get a pop-up that tells you to press a button to start fishing. Also, do make sure that you've got the fishing rod equipped. So let's press E. Then you just wait for the biting icon, which for me on the PC is a left mouse button. Wait for the biting alert, then click the left mouse button. Now there are two things to balance when reeling in a fish. You want to keep the white bubble on the fish as it swims around, and you want to reel in the fish without putting too much tension on the line, represented by the red bubble. So reel in the fish by holding the left mouse button till the timer in the center of the screen reaches zero. And don't let the tension in the line get too much, represented when the red bubble reaches the outside of the white bubble. To relax the tension, just stop reeling in uh, while still keeping the white bubble on the fish. So you get how to catch fish, but why should you, I hear you ask. In short, making money. That is, if you fish smartly. And how do you fish smartly? It's you choose where to fish and you choose what to fish. Since not all fishing spots are created equal, I would recommend you use this fishing spot near the waterfalls for your early game fishing spot. It has goliath fish which sells for 350 goals and that is even before you catch any special fish. However, goliath fish are a bit tricky to catch as they are much more lively than the fish I've just shown you. Here I have one on the line and you can see I have to be very patient when reeling it in. So let's speed this up a bit. You can also get lucky and catch an emperor fish which is worth twice the normal price or a kingfish, which is worth 5,000 goals. Here in the next clip, I've changed to a classic fishing rod, and you can see what a difference it makes in reeling in a goliath fish. Another way to fish smarter is by allocating one skill point in the gather branch of the skill tree into the fish encyclopedia skill. This will identify the fish that is biting before you choose to reel it in. Let's see what it looks like. When a fish bites, its icon will now appear telling you what kind of fish it is. You can then use this to skip low value fish and only reel in the high value fish. Emperor fish will have a star next to their icon and kingfish has a crown. Not all fishing spots are created equal. If you want to make money, choose the best fishing spots. Uh, early game, I would recommend you use this spot by the waterfall, which has the goliath fish, which sells for 350 goals. Mid game, or when you've got the collapsed wasteland unlocked, I would suggest you go to the collapsed wasteland fishing spot, which has wise fish, which sells for 320 goals. And late game, once you've unlocked the Fala Desert, I would recommend you go to this 
Eufaula Desert Oasis fishing spot, which has both wise fish and lady fish, which sells for 320 and 280 golds respectively. One last point to call out is that not all stores actually buys the fish that you can catch. So you have to find the stores that buys the fish off you. And these are Django's Round Table. They've got a purse of 17,000 golds. Martha's Bakery, which has a purse of 5,000. Marsh's Total Tools, which is 3,500. Sophie's Farm Store, which is 4,500. And then later in the game, once you've unlocked these posts, is South Block Trading Post, which got 13,000 purse, and Harbour Station, which is a 26,000 purse. That's it for this short fishing tutorial. I hope it was useful and many happy fishing returns. If you want to support my channel, you can find me live streaming games at twitch.tv forward slash 007.